What's going on, everybody? Quick little video here. Um, obviously, I'm not, I mean, I think you guys get an idea here. I'm not where I usually am. I'm not recording with what I usually record, but I uh, wanted to make sure to get this video out because we got the final injury reports earlier today from both teams, and that's a pretty big deal, especially when the injury report contains some of the information that this one did, where we had Geno Smith pop up on the injury report. We had DK Metcalf pop up on the injury report. Even even Will Disley popped up on the injury report on a uh, uh, Thursday, I think it was. So wanted to quickly cover that, talk about what the Panthers have on their end. And yeah, I, I, got, I got places to be and things to do. But uh, just real quick here, injury report. The damage going into this game on Sunday is as follows. Um, I'm not going to be able to put anything fancy on screen, so I'll just talk through it. Um, Ken Walker and DJ are game time decisions. I don't believe either practice today, so to be perfectly honest, I don't really expect either to play. I'm not optimistic about either guy actually being able to suit up, but they are game time decisions. And to be perfectly honest... Uh, looking at what we're going to need to do down the rest of the season, I'm I wouldn't be terribly upset if Ken Walker had to sit out this game in particular. Uh, I've said it before; I'll say it again. With the way this run uh, run blocking is up front, the running back doesn't matter nearly as much as he should. Obviously, you'd rather have Ken Walker back there than anybody else we could have back there. But uh, right now, Ken Walker is just kind of being set up to fail. I feel like so. Um, honestly, I feel like you could put just about anybody in that backfield and you'd get, I mean, obviously there's some difference, but not a radical one. Uh, yeah, DJ Dallas, also a game time decision and that's significant with Ken Walker also being one. I'm not really expecting either to play, not really expecting either to play. Uh, the good news is it seems like everyone else is expected to play. Now that doesn't mean that everybody is guaranteed to play Metcalf. And Will Disley and Ryan Neal are all questionable for this one. Officially, they are questionable. Um, but Carroll sounded fairly positive that all three would play. Ryan Neal apparently had a good day of practice today. Uh, Metcalf had a hip thing pop up on, I believe, Thursday. So they had to throw him on there because he uh, didn't... I, I, I think he didn't practice at all. But it sounds like he'll be ready to go. Uh, Disley, same thing. It sounds like he is good to go. It's obviously not good to have these guys on your injury report at all. You know they're less than 100%. But, I mean, at this point in the season, who's 100%? Nobody's 100%. There's no such thing as a player 100%. Uh, the good news are the players who were not listed on the injury report, including Travis Homer. So we have at least one real, you know, planned running back, right? Uh, if... Walker and Dallas are out. You're probably going to see some Tony Jones and Wayne Gallman. But at least you have Travis Homer out there, a guy who I believe actually has plus attributes, a guy who is a very good blocker, a guy who can catch out of the backfield, a guy who's a great third down back. So at the very least, you've got that going on for you. Don't know what's going on with my lamp here. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... We don't have to uh, worry about that as much. Obviously, you'd rather have your main guys, but we're, we'll at least have a full complement of backfield players for when the game starts. As the game goes on, who knows? At least we're playing at home, I guess, and we're not playing on some field that is famous for getting players injured. Uh, the big one, of course, was Geno Smith, and Geno Smith is indeed not listed on the injury report. If he did indeed um, mispractice, uh, well, he did mispractice, but... Um, I think we all know that it may have came from that uh, strip sack on Sunday. So we can see where that injury may have come from if it did come from somewhere. So when the report came out that he was on the injury list, I definitely saw a cause and effect there that made me a little bit concerned. And I still am. Just because he's playing is no guarantee that he'll be able to do all the things that he usually does. And as a quarterback, you need your arm. <laughs> but... As of right now, there's no reason to doubt him playing. So, could be better, could be worse. It's At the very least, this team looks like they're past the flu. You did have a few other players pop up on the injury report throughout the week, like Abe Lucas was there for a bit. Um, 
I believe Puna was there for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it, it, there were some things to be concerned about. But as of right now, it seems like we're going to be missing those two guys. That's about it. Hopefully they're back for next week. And there's no guarantee they missed this game either. I mean, it's possible. I don't know if I'm terribly excited to have Ken Walker out there at less than 100%, but um, I, I guess you just have to trust the doctors of your team. So that's about it for the Seahawks. Um, fairly clean. It's just too bad that so many of our injuries are focused in the uh, backfield. Uh, Panthers' side, however, is pretty clean. In fact, and it makes sense, right? The Panthers are coming off their bye week. They were relatively clean before. Um, the one big loss they might have, and this is even debatable, P.J. Walker, apparently not going to start this game. It looks like we're getting Darnold. And I don't know if that would be the case if P.J. was healthy. Uh, the fact that P.J. got hurt at all is the only reason why Sam Darnold has this chance right now in all likelihood. So we're at least we're not getting P.J. Walker, which I think is good. But we're getting Donta Foreman. He apparently had a good week of practice. No concerns. So Foreman is probably a go. And he's been playing fairly well lately, so it's a concern. And they had a couple other guys who missed some practice this week, like uh, Corey Littleton, their linebacker. And, um, God, who else was it? They, um, I believe that Taylor Moten might have missed a little bit of practice this week. But it doesn't really matter because they're apparently all going to play. Uh, Steve Wilkes has already said they expect everybody to play. So with the exception of the P.J. Walker thing, which that's not nothing, it's clean for the uh, Panthers. The bye week did them good, just like it did for us, really. But uh, yeah, that's uh, all there is to say. We are facing a Panthers team mostly, mostly at full strength. Coming off that bye week, feeling good about themselves. I'll talk more about the game uh, in the video tomorrow. But I, I will say there are some warning signs here, and I am not ignoring them, and I don't think anyone else should either. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's your injury report. Ken Walker, DJ Dallas, game time decision. If I had to guess, if you put a gun to my head, I say they're both going to miss the game. But everybody else looks ready to go, and Carolina, they're carrying a clean injury report. So uh Everybody have fun watching this game. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I got things to do. We are having a great time over here right now. Um, I will say I will do a post game video on Sunday after the game's over. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to put anything cool on screen. Probably not because there's just not going to be enough time. But that is the possibly the only video that I will post um, for the next. Uh, several days. So I uh, hope you guys are used to not seeing me for a little bit because uh, it could be a little while between videos for at least a couple days here, but we will be back and we will definitely be here to cover the rest of the Seahawks season. All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks. And there's your injury report.